醒醒！喂。Okay, this looks more like Breath of the Wild 2 than the actual sequel does. Gaming news! Gaming news! It is an exciting time to be a video gamer because this coming week we have Gamescom, meaning a bunch of conferences like Nintendo is giving us another Indie Direct and I love those because surprise, I love my Indies. We're also getting some Xbox goodness and then even Google Stadia is doing a conference. So that'll suck. <laughs> and we are most likely, at some point during the next month, finally getting Super Nintendo games on our Nintendo Switch. As part of the whole Nintendo Online package, because screw a decent messaging system and an actual party chat, now I'd rather my money go towards more games I won't play. That's just me. And then, apparently, in the most exciting gaming news, the Breath of the Wild sequel is releasing a lot sooner than we thought it was and exclusive to PlayStation. So there's that. Okay, let's start with that. I want to talk about this Breath of the Wild clone, Genshin Impact. That's the name of the game. It has two trailers, a cinematic and a gameplay trailer. And there's actually two parts about this story that make it crazy. There's the story itself, and then there was the reaction to it. And you're not going to believe that, and we're going to get to it. I'll leave the judgment on this up to you. I'll give my opinions at the end. But let's take a look at both these trailers and uh, compare them to a little, a little game we like to call Breath of the Wild. All right, so as my little skit at the start of this video, video showed you from right at the start it's it's pretty ham-fisted it starts with this character waking up on a beach having a female character call to him beckon to him to open his eyes does anything else need to be said here like i can get being inspired by a game to make your game but could you at least find a different way to start it? I mean, you're not even trying to cover it up. Anyway, let's keep going. We see a bunch of beautiful landscapes that honestly, while they do look very crisp and it's it's exciting to me looking at this, like I want to explore this world and play in it, but I can't tell if it's for the right or wrong reasons. Like I'm looking at this and I'm, and I'm literally excited by it, but I'm pretty sure it's because it's either recent nostalgia for Breath of the Wild or hype for the new sequel that's coming. The character models, the graphics, the creatures, everything is replicated from Breath of the Wild. Not inspired, in my opinion. And so I'm looking at this completely foreign to me game, and I really want to play it because it feels so familiar. Now, we do have our first big difference here. It seems like this world has a huge city in it that you're being welcomed into. And hopefully, and I'm saying hopefully like I'm going to play this game, and let's be honest... I am, <laughs> most likely. Hopefully this town will be populated with, you know, NPCs, characters you can walk around, talk to, maybe get missions from, probably fetch quests, maybe shops, you can buy things. Just a huge populated city would be good. We were missing that in Breath of the Wild. I like how all of a sudden I'm like wanting things from this game, <laughs> but it looks like that's what this is. Then we, um, there's no denying this one. We see some classic Zelda glider action. And that leads into the story about the game. And some people have said that even the story seems like it's ripped off. A lot of it is spoken in Japanese without subtitles. So I, I, I don't know. There's a giant dragon killing a village. To me, this all looks very different. So it gets a pass. Then we get a brief look at gameplay in this cinematic trailer. As I said, there is a separate gameplay trailer, which we'll get into in a second. But on the surface level here, the gameplay does look pretty different. However, I did notice a couple things. One, like in this part, that grass, it, that's caught on fire. Not only does it look exactly like the Breath of the Wild fire effects, but on top of that, that fire seems to be causing a gust of wind to blow up, which... I mean, that's almost like in lawsuit territory, <laughs> is it not? Okay, so that's that one. It's pretty short. The next one's longer. I'll leave links down below if I missed anything and any more similarities, just let me know. Okay, so this next one starts and yeah, it, it doesn't take long before you see what is essentially a bow goblin is that how you say that? I, I think it is. You see what is undeniably a bow goblin camp with a bunch of bow goblins standing around it. 
Like, I'm gonna throw up a couple comparisons here, and you can let me know down below, but I refuse anyone to tell me that, that, that this is not what these things are. The camp is set up the same way, you got barrels, you got some wooden spikes around the edges, you even have, like, the same freaking campfire. They're not trying to hide it. Then these dudes themselves, with their clubs, and even their animation when they react to seeing Link. I mean, whoever it is in this game, not Link, of course, since this isn't Breath of the Wild, although I wouldn't blame you for getting confused. We move on to a lot more gameplay, and again, it's very different, and then we see some settings within the game, and there's some shots here that stand out to me. I mean, all of them have that Breath of the Wild feel, but this one in particular, I, I think it's the chest that does it for me, and then the designs of the area in general feel very similar to Breath of the Wild's ancient theme, and I mean, this whole area just kind of looks like a challenge shrine. And it was uh, here about one minute-ish into the trailer where I started to hear some soft piano keys just lightly tapping in an inspiring way. I'll let you listen for yourself. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit here. We have a lot to talk about in this video. You got your classic Zelda jelly chew choose this thing that looks like a guardian and even dies exactly like a guardian. While cooking, the food bounces around the pot. It really highlights having to climb all over everything. And then finally, to wrap up the trailer, we get this giant boss fight. And while it doesn't really harken to anything Breath of the Wild that I can draw correlations to, you do finally beat it by jumping on its back and shooting it like a rock thing sticking out of it. I mean, it's a little similar to the rock golems in Breath of the Wild, but I don't think it's too close of a connection to really say that is copying, but I mean, <laughs> when you're this far in, maybe. I will say the biggest difference between these games is clearly the gameplay. I mean, you get to play as what seems like a whole cast of different characters, each with their own varying movesets and magical abilities. It just, uh, that whole side of it does look very different. Look, okay, this game is gorgeous, and honestly, it, it looks amazing. And th there's enough differences here to make it feel like its own unique adventure. And even furthermore, considering MiHoYo, which is the developer of this game, only previously made mobile games, this is quite an impressive leap into a fully-fledged console JRPG adventure. Or at least, it would be if it wasn't so obviously copied from Breath of the Wild. It's kind of like taking an exam for the first time without practicing at all or even attending the lessons, and yet you aced it because you copied the guy next to you who just so happens to be a straight-A student and has attended every lesson for years. I mean, yeah, you did it, and it looks great. But is it right? I mean, to me, honestly, there's, there's no issue here. Not unless Nintendo finds grounds to sue, but, but I doubt that. It, like, if I saw a lawsuit pop up between Nintendo and MiHoYo or whatever, I, I wouldn't be surprised, like, in the slightest. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Okay, but here's the second crazy part to the story. So all of this was unveiled at China Joy 2019, which is a gaming expo in China that I had never heard of before. And apparently fans were not having it. There's photos of people holding their switches, flipping off this new game. Then there's this photo here of everyone raising up their switches, like in protest or support or against, I don't know, this game. And then there's even this guy who destroyed his PlayStation for in front of everyone in protest. Are you serious, man? Like, look at everyone else's face. <laughs> this guy legit looks mad. Like, I get it. I get it. I get it, right? Like, I get it. I get it and I get it. But I don't get this. It's a bit much. I mean, what 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 are you what are you aiming to prove? What are you trying to achieve? Not, it's, it's just, you just broke your PlayStation for nothing. All right, sports fans, moving on to the next piece of hot news. Super Nintendo games are most likely coming to Switch. I'm sure you heard about this. This blew up. Everyone's been talking about it. I want to talk about it, but let's talk about it. So for those keeping track at home or getting ready to pay their next Nintendo Online bill, Nintendo Online originally released back in September 19 of last year, which means it's it's coming up on a year. You know, next month will be the one year anniversary of Nintendo Online, and what a fantastic year it was. You know, we got some NES games, we got Tetris 99, we paid Nintendo money. <laughs> the one thing everybody wants out of this online service, the one thing that's been the bane of my existence recently, I've been diving into a lot of Nintendo online. Every time I think about this, I get annoyed. We need a messaging system and we need a party chat and we're paying for this service. And it's like Nintendo are desperately trying to find ways to justify this Nintendo service by giving us all these NES games no one wants to play, by giving us Tetris 99, which 
okay, that was pretty damn good, I'll admit that. But now it's like, oh, what do we do now? What do we do now? Maybe Super Nintendo games? Maybe that's that that will justify the- No, what will justify the price of online is a decent online service. Video for another time. Someone found a filing on FCC for a Super Nintendo control, actually, while I'm talking about this. Remember these bad boys that launched with the uh, NES online? They're any old school NES controllers, but, you know, click on your Switch. I don't have to explain it. Y'all remember. Well, this new filing would suggest that Nintendo is planning on making Super Nintendo versions of these. Why would you possibly need that? Does Nintendo think that we want to play their NES games with Super Nintendo controllers? You know what it might probably mean? <laughs> Super Nintendo games come... I mean, that's the whole thing. I mean, it's really cool. And Nintendo Online, it is so cheap. I mean, it's like $3 a month, 20 bucks for a year. If you want to split it with a bunch of friends, it's like pennies on the dollar. It's essentially nothing. It's worth it if, Nint if Nintendo called this their... The NES and Super Nintendo subscription service. Nintendo's gaming Netflix, I don't know, whatever. If they marketed it towards like, okay, you're paying three bucks a month and you get to play our old retro games. Their, their retro game subscription service is essentially what this is. But if they called it that, I would be f like three bucks a month. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great. But the fact that it's, it's called Nintendo Online, it makes me feel like we should be getting things for the online. Services for online. None of this is online. They're, they're free games you're throwing at us to satisfy us because we're paying you something for nothing. But I'm excited to play Earthbound on my Switch. I'm assuming it's going to have Earthbound. I I'm going to guess the first set of games that'll come over will probably be the SNES Classic games. And finally, and I only found out about this today, because apparently I've been living in a cave on Mars with my eyes closed and my fingers in my ears, Gamescom is like the 19th, which I think is Monday. And yeah, I talked about this at the start of the video, but I not only want to say, hey, this thing's happening, pay attention to it, gaming news and all of that, but also I'm going to stream it. But it should be really exciting. Nintendo's doing the indie direct, and for those of you that are like, oh, I, I don't like the Andy directs. I want the good ones. I mean, okay, maybe I can understand, but at the same time, we already know about everything coming out the rest of the year for Nintendo. We have all these big games. We don't need any more announcements. I'm down for some indie news. And also remember, the previous indie directs, like the last one was where they announced Cuphead and games like Super Lucky's Tale. There's rumor of another Xbox Microsoft title coming over to Switch, and it's most likely going to be Ori. So I'm going to be watching it just hoping for that. And possibly other secrets and surprises. They put out a list of companies, publishers, developers, whatever that are attending and just some of the ones to keep an eye on. My doorbell just rang. Billy's here. You look so spunky today. You like trimmed your beard, you cut your hair all fancy. Uh, I'm almost done. So, um, subscribe to Billy. <laughs> um, just put out a I video mean, about yeah. Wonder Boy. About Wonder Boy. I actually, I need to do a whole video on that. It was such a great game. I told you you'd like it. Yeah. And then, um, what was the other one? Oh yeah, Dead Cells. You took my copy of it like a year ago. It wasn't that long ago. But <laughs> I don't know, it was pretty long. Just call it like nine. 10, 11 months, something like that. <laughs> anyway, so here's a list of developers and publishers that are going to be attending that I'm keeping an eye on. Bandai Namco, Deep Silver, Square Enix, Sega, Ubisoft, Sony, 2K, Capcom, Epic Games, St St Stadia, Xbox, and more. There's a lot more. Look at the list. It's all there on the screen. You can see them. Hey, ho, let's go. That's all from me. That's literally that he rang the doorbell when I was on like the last sentence. Perfect timing. Um, what do you think about the Zelda clone? Is it actually a Zelda clone or is it not? I think Nintendo will let us know when they decide to sue or not. Super Nintendo games coming to Switch. Finally, we're getting our money's worth. Or are we? No, in my opinion. <laughs> Let me know that down below. And games come. I'm excited. But that's all from me. If you like this video, then Sakurai Super Smash that like button. Hit a flip all over that subscribe button. It's really weird doing this with an audience. And that's all from me. Hope you had fun. Love you. Bye. Have a good. Have a good whatever. How's the coffee? I like it. Oh, you're actually. <laughs> 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 okay. Bye. <laughs>